Our Creator, we thank you for the opportunity to celebrate 360 years of service. Much has changed over those years. The settlements developed and became a colony and later assembled a new country. And in forging that new nation, our forefathers wrote, all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. God, you have instilled in our hearts to live as free people. We thank you for sustaining us in the past. We appreciate the strength you give us in the present, and we hope for your continued blessing in the future as we stand as guardians of freedom that you have implanted in us. We welcome your presence here. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Adjutant General for the Delaware National Guard, Major General Frank Vavila. Please take your seats. Commanders, give your troops at ease. Our heartfelt thanks to all of you for joining us on this glorious day in which we celebrate our Delaware National Guard's continuous and exemplary service to both state and nation. In the interest of time, it would be virtually impossible to recognize all of our distinguished guests, but I'll attempt to identify significant groups. Please stand when I recognize your affiliation, and I respectfully request that you hold your applause until all are introduced. And I'll give you that applause signal. First, our platform party, Governor Jack Markell, Senator Tom Carper, and Senator Chris Coons. Our Delaware State Legislature, both Senate and House. Our other elected state officials, our other county officials, Wilmington city officials, 
members of the governor's cabinet, our law enforcement, firefighters, and emergency response partners, our Delaware Veterans Commission, all of our veteran service organizations, and all who work on behalf of our veterans and members of the military in Delaware. Our honorary commanders, our distinguished military guests, both active and retired, and finally, our wonderful and various Swedish societies. Thank you for recognizing all of these supportive members of our First State family. 360 years ago today, a day much like today, I remember it well. Think about this. At the very birthplace of the militia in Delaware, Think about it. Put your mind back about 16 generations when Commissary Ellswick formed a militia to defend this very fort, Fort Christina, against the invading Dutch under Peter Stuyvesant. The Dutch prevailed, but what is noteworthy is that the militia in Delaware continued. You know, this history while important, has been interpreted differently by a number of authoritative sources. But the bottom line in all this is that a militia was formed which became the foundation of the Delaware National Guard's 360 years of service to the citizens of Delaware. And what better place to mark this momentous occasion? We wanted to mark this day, particularly in light of the continuous service of our force over the last 14 years. So today is a happy day. Today is an anniversary celebration. You know, over the last 360 years, we've been to a lot of places seen a lot of things, and our colors reflect our participation in all major conflicts of this nation. Today, in our fourth century of service to state and nation, the Delaware National Guard is at its highest level of readiness in our history. As a result of our recent conflicts, Thank you. As a result of our recent conflicts, we have the best trained, the best equipped, the best led, and the most veteran force in our history. We ask only for the continued opportunity to serve as our nation and our state's most economical and efficient force. Always ready, always there, civilians in peace, soldiers in war, we are, in the words of our first president, George Washington, the bulwark of our nation's defense. We are the National Guard. Thank you. I'd now like to introduce the 73rd governor of the state of Delaware and the Commander-in-Chief of the Delaware National Guard, the Honorable Jack Markell. Well, good morning, everybody. Great to be with you. Just a moment ago, General Vavala said we have the best trained, the best equipped, and the best led force. He left one thing out. Do you think we have the best Adjutant General in the entire country? Well, I, I agree with, uh, with you and with uh, Senator Carper and Senator Coons. It's uh, an honor to be here on this auspicious 
uh, day. It's also great to be here with so many members of the uh, General Assembly. Uh, you have Democrats, Republicans from the Senate and House alike. Good to be with all of you, along with our Attorney General and even more importantly, Zach Dent. Let's hear it for Zach Dent over there. <laughs> Zach, there he is. Zach starts school tomorrow. You know, I am particularly proud to be here as the Commander-in-Chief of the Delaware National Guard. Uh, and to have this opportunity to think about the thousands who have served over these many, many years, 360 years. Our Guardsmen have served bravely. They fought bravely for our state and for our country since 1655 when they guarded the first settlements near the mouth of the Christina River here in Wilmington. More recently, since September 11th, they've been overseas supporting peacekeeping missions, and members have received the Bronze Star, the Combat Action Badge, and the Medal of Valor. Here at home, they've aided victims of floods and ice storms and hurricanes, and since the first Minutemen fought, fought on our behalf nearly four centuries ago, the National Guard has answered the call and has remained committed to protecting our state and our nation. You have always been there for us, and I am honored to filled with pride to celebrate with you. Now we have committed ourselves as Delawareans to ensuring that Delaware is a state where veterans are welcomed and they're honored and they're supported in their efforts as civilians, whether it's helping them to continue their or begin their careers, or if it's working to ensure that they have a roof over their heads. Earlier this year, Delaware committed to ending, ending veteran homelessness in our state by the end of this year. And Delaware businesses com have committed to supporting <laughs> Delaware businesses have committed to supporting our servicemen and women when they return. We've corrected laws so that military education and training and experience count when issuing professional licenses. We've implemented important initiatives like establishing a tax credit for Delaware businesses who employ our veterans. And with over 70,000 veterans living in Delaware and 8,000 currently serving in our military, there's more work to be done. And that's why in a few minutes right over here, I'll be signing a proclamation naming September as Hire a Veteran Month to encourage more Delaware businesses to provide employment opportunities to those who have served in our armed forces. And I applaud those Delaware businesses who have recognized that veterans are hugely beneficial and who bring a unique set of leadership and teamwork skills to the marketplace. And as we celebrate 360 years of the Delaware National Guard and as we approach the another anniversary of September 11th, we must not ever forget the sacrifices that our men and women in the service have made. And as long as one veteran is homeless, as long as one veteran is unemployed, we have more work to do. So I want to thank all of you pres for preserving the liberties and the freedom that we've enjoyed for all of these years and for filling all of us with so much pride. Today I'm recommitting all of us in Delaware to giving our veterans the opportunities that they have so bravely earned. To the men and women of the National Guard today here in Delaware, you are good stewards, you are worthy stewards of 360 years of service of all who have served in the Delaware National Guard. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Governor. We're blessed to always have our federal elected officials with us to honor our National Guard. Please join me in welcoming our senior senator, a Vietnam veteran who retired from the United States Navy after 24 years of service at the distinguished rank of captain, the former governor and commander in chief of the Delaware National Guard, Senator Tom Carper. General, General Bobbitt, thank you uh, so much. 
uh, to our governor, to my congressman, my, my congressman John Carney, who is recovering from hip surgery. He's uh, I'm coming off the DL, and I know he sends his uh, regards and his best wishes. I was with him last night, and he wished he could be here, and he'll be back, uh, back, uh, in fact, he's back on his feet, and he'll be back in the starting lineup very soon. It's nice to, to be with Chris. Senator Cohn just led a congressional delegation over to, to Africa. I was over there just a, a week or two ago uh, my, uh, my, myself. And General Valo was telling me we've got some Delaware National Guardsmen and, and women in, in Africa to, uh, today. Not everybody knows that. We just sent off about 300 more uh, to go uh, to Afghanistan. will go out next, uh, next month. So literally uh, the men and women of the Delaware National Guard are spread uh, throughout the state, as it turns out, throughout the world, throughout the world. And it's been that way for a, a long, long time. Speaking of a long, long time, I, I just want to thank Frank Vavala. When I, when I call as governor of uh, Delaware, and I called General Vavala, and I asked him if he'd be willing to be our uh, adjutant general for the Delaware National Guards. And I twisted his arm, I twisted both arms, and twisted his legs. And finally, he said, OK. And uh, he is now the longest serving adjutant general of the National Guard of any state in America. And as the governor says, we think he's the best. Can you believe it? Still going strong. Still going strong. Well, it's 377 years ago, folks, the couple of ships uh, sailed up this river. They'd sailed across the ocean from Kalmar, Sweden, got to the, uh, the mainland here, sailed up the Delaware Bay, up the Delaware River. They came to an uncharted river, and they made a left turn and headed west. And they stopped, and they landed literally right here. They got off their ship. Somebody said, I wonder if they have uh, sales taxes here. Or this is the land of tax-free shopping. And as it turned out, <laughs> they said, do they have easy pass? What else do they have? Do they have sales? Uh, anyway, we, uh, they uh, landed here, and they uh, set up shop. And they said, this is the colony of New Sweden. They named this river the Christina River after their child queen. She was less than 10 years old at the time. Talk about peaking early. Peaking early. The queen <laughs> left the, at the age of uh, 8 or 10. Down in the southern part of our state, around the same time, the Dutch came along. And the Dutch came in uh, where Lewis, Delaware is today, and they settled that place. They were there for about a year. They got wiped out by the Indians. They came back in greater numbers beyond that and continued to expand the, the Dutch uh, presence here and later on up here to try to take out the, uh, the Swedes and the, uh, the, the Finns and succeeded in doing that. But as the general has said, it was not without uh, some fight and the establishment of the first militia in the history of our, uh, our country and certainly the first militia in the history of this state. Over the years, the United States has forced, uh, faced enormous challenges took on the greatest military might in the world in a battle for independence. We're a nation divided. We're brother against brother, family against family. Took on each other in a civil war that took hundreds of thousands of lives. We went on to fight a first world war. We won. We went on to fight a second world war. We won. And we took on the, uh, the Soviets and the rest of the communist world in a cold war. And uh, just for the record, we won. And the Delaware National Guard, and the National Guard in this country, was in every one of those scrapes. In every one of those scrapes. And they've been in Persian Gulf, in Iraq, in Afghanistan, and hopefully uh, very few in the future, but we know that if they're needed, they're right here. I want to close with the words, not of a Swede, not of a Finn, but uh, words of a Brit. And uh, his name is Winston Churchill. And uh, Winston Churchill said a lot of funny things, said a lot of uh, memorable things. One of the things he said about America with tongue in cheek is you can always count on the Americans to do the right thing in the end after trying everything else. He also said that uh, to be a reservist, to be a guardsman or woman is to be twice a citizen. To be twice a citizen. And for uh, the folks that were present and accounted for 360 years when the call went out to, to lend a hand and to defend uh, this place from the onslaught of those Dutch we remember you today. And for everybody else who served, not just in conflict, but whenever we've had an ice storm, whenever we've had a flood, we've had a typhoon, we've had a hurricane, we've had a northeaster, and we needed some help. The Delaware National Guard was there to help us, to secure our safety and to preserve our way of life. So day to celebrate. 360 down, 360 to go. God bless you all. Thanks so much. Congratulations. I may be here for the next 360. General Valvo said he may be here for the next 360. <laughs> I wouldn't bet against him. <laughs> Thank you, Senator Corper. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's funny, talking to a lot of folks before the ceremony began today, 
there were many native Delawareans that said, I have never been to Fort Christina. So what a wonderful venue for this and the appropriate venue. So thank you again for all, being, for all of you being here today and thanks to these folks who give me my credentials. Happy birthday, Delaware National Guard. <laughs> senator Chris Coons, our junior United States Senator, has demonstrated his dynamic leadership on numerous issues important to all Delawareans. We couldn't ask for a better friend of our Delaware National Guard. Please join me in welcoming United States Senator, the Honorable Chris Coons. Well, good morning. Thank you, General Vavilo, and thank you to everyone who is here who is a veteran, who is a member, current or former, of the Delaware Army and Air National Guard, to our legislators, our community leaders, our veteran support groups, brothers and sisters from law enforcement and first responder community. It is great to be here at a part of Delaware's new national park. Thank you again, Senator Carper, for your leadership in helping the country recognize the vital history that happened right here. As General Vavila started us off 360 years ago, a small, determined band of Swedish settlers answered a call to service, and a group that assembled a citizen militia risked their lives to defend their foothold on this continent and the values that had brought them here from Sweden and from Finland. Untrained, they held off the Dutch just 10 days, but they held the fort. And if you think about what they set in motion and what it has become over time, it is actually an awesome legacy. Like so many of the things done here in the Mid-Atlantic in the early years of European colonization, I think those plucky few who took up arms and risked their lives could not have imagined how their example would inspire others from generation to generation. But the battle flags behind me, the ribbons that hang from these flags, speak in greater detail and with greater eloquence the earned honor of the units of the Delaware Army and Air National Guard. Their remarkable record of service in each of the conflicts that shaped and formed our nation. And they reflect thousands of Delawareans who, like those first Swedes, raised their hand, pledged their commitment, took up arms, and were willing to stand and hold the fort. From the 1st Delaware Regiment that distinguished itself in the Battle of Long Island in Brooklyn, New York, and made it possible for a majority of Washington's army to escape and played a central role in saving our fledgling Continental Army. To the Civil War where Delawareans played a decisive role in Westminster holding off Jeb Stuart's cavalry which might have made the difference for the South in Gettysburg to units that served with distinction in the Spanish-American and First World War and Second World War, from Bora Bora in the South Pacific to Fort Miles just here in Delaware. The history told by these ribbons and known to those who are students of military history and to those of us who are grateful for the freedom they have endowed us with, we should and are grateful. Last week we recognized the 10-year anniversary of Katrina, a hurricane which caused horrific damage not just to property but to lives in our own Louisiana. And it was our own Army Guard and Air Guard that sent disaster relief operations throughout the Gulf and stood with your fellow American citizens as they recovered from one of the worst domestic natural disasters we've known. And as the adjutant mentioned, we have today members of our Guard family deployed and serving throughout the world. And it's been my honor to visit them from Afghanistan to Djibouti, where I recently had a chance to visit with, unit, with a unit of the Delaware Air National Guard that is serving in what I think is the hottest place on earth I've ever seen. I look in the audience today at the men and women of our guard, and I see faces who have sacrificed a great deal. We have, as the adjutant reminded us, the highest trained, best led, but highest veteran level guard we have ever had. Your dedication, your diligence, your commitment over the last 14 years of conflict in Afghanistan and Iraq is moving 
is breathtaking, is impressive. I see faces who've sacrificed in support of in-state missions and deployments overseas, from the Middle East to all over the world. Faces that understand and know personally the hardships on your families, the perils associated with service and deployment, and what it takes to overcome these hardships, to come home, to reintegrate, to return to work, and know with certainty you may very well be called upon to deploy again, a second, or a third, or a fourth time. To the men and women of Delaware, can we just one more time honor these amazing heroes with a resounding round of applause for their dedication to our freedom and our nation. We literally cannot thank you enough. But as our governor laid out in detail, we can do the things that remain undone that will show more than any speech what those thanks can mean. By ensuring that employers respect their legal obligation to support members of the Guard and Reserve, by recruiting more members of our private sector community to enthusiastically embrace and support those who would serve and those who have served, by providing in the Congress the resources to make sure that every veteran gets the support they deserve for the rest of their lives, to ensure that we work together tirelessly to end veteran homeless in our state and our country, to make sure that our children are raised to know and to honor what you have done. 360 is not just the number of years we commemorate today, but it's a full circle. And in many ways, we have come full circle. Because it was a small, tight-knit group that stood on these rocks 360 years ago and took up arms to defend their families. It's said that our guard is a family. But you should know that that family of support, those who have your back, extends far beyond the tight-knit group that stands together again today and holds the fort at these rocks. Know that we have your back. Know that we honor your service. Know that we are grateful to God for all you have undertaken. And know that together we will make generations more of brave and honorable history as citizen soldiers of Delaware. Thank you. Thank you for your service. And God bless you. I'd now like to invite the President Pro Tem of the Delaware State Senate, Senator Patty Blevins, and members of the Delaware State Senate forward for a special tribute. Senator Blevins. Thank you, General Vavila. Uh, my colleagues and I would just like to take a, an opportunity to present to General Vavila a Senate tribute. And I won't read it to you. Um, it's two pages long, and it's beautifully illustrated. Um, and um, I, hope, I hope you recognize how much uh, this event means to us, because this is a very special tribute from the Senate. It is sponsored by all 21 members of the Delaware State Senate, several of whom are up here today. And um, we, we thank you so much, General. Um, the respect that we have for you uh, and for uh, particularly the people that serve uh, under your command cannot be overestimated. Thank you. Senator, thank you so much. I gratefully accept it on behalf of the great men and women of our Delaware National Guard. Thank you and all of the members of the Senate for your undying support. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Senator. Thanks. Senator, thank you. Thanks. 
so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I'd now like to call forward the chairman of the Veterans Committee in the State House of Representatives and other, Representative Earl Jakes, who's a retired member of our Delaware National Guard and other members of the Delaware State House forward for another tribute. Representative Jakes retired as a Brigadier General from our Delaware Air National Guard. On behalf of all the members of the Delaware House of Representatives, I am honored and privileged to present this tribute to our hometown force, the Delaware National Guard, that is there for us not only for our federal mission, but also for our state mission each and every time. Congratulations to the Delaware National Guard. Thank you so much, Representative, and thanks to the entire House for again their support of the men and women of our Delaware National Guard. We can't do it without you. Thank you. God bless you. And again, I accept it on behalf of the great men and women of our Delaware National Guard. Thanks. Thank you so much. And now I'd like to call forward Councilman Darius Brown, City Council, City of Wilmington, forward for a special tribute. Thank you, General. Welcome to the third council district in the city of Wilmington, the place where opportunity lives. And we want to thank you, General, and all of the Delaware National Guard for being here today. On behalf of Wilmington City Council, Mayor Dennis P. Williams, and all the residents of the city of Wilmington, thank you for your continued service here at, in this area of the birthplace of the city of Wilmington. And be sure to visit the Calmar Nickel today. Thank you. Councilman, thank you so much. We're so happy to be here in the great city of Wilmington. And again, gratefully accepted on behalf of the men and women of our Delaware National Guard. Well, what celebration of this nature would be complete without a birthday cake? So I'll ask the official platform party and the leadership of our Delaware National Guard to please join me for the official cake cutting. Just as we rehearsed it, Carol. Yep. <laughs> Jimmy? We're good. If, if we could all just kind of grab a hold of... If we, we put our hands on the sabers. Center, okay, we're good, we're good, okay. Make sure not. Okay, uh, Go ahead, John didn't want me to do this, but let's all sing happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Delaware National Guard. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. 360 years. Thank you. I'll ask the official party to rejoin me there on the platform and the leaders to get back to their formations, but thank you so much. You know, today is not only a celebration of 360 years, but it's also a solemn tribute 
to those who first took arms to defend our state and for all those who followed in their footsteps. Please rise as our Joint Honor Guard firing detail provides a 21-gun salute. I'd ask you now to join me in the singing of our service songs. 287th band. Off we go into the wild blue yonder, flying high into the sun. Here they come, zooming to meet our thunder. Adam, boys, give them the gun. Give, give them the her the gun. gun. Down we dive, sprouting our flame from under. Off with one hell of a roar. We live in fame, get down in flame. Hey, nothing can stop the U.S. Air Force. March along, sing our song with the army of the free. Count the brave, count the true, who have fought to victory. We're the army and proud of our name. We're the army and proudly proclaim. First to fight for the right, then to build the nation's might, and the army goes rolling along. Proud of all we have done, fighting till the battle's won, and the army goes rolling along. Then it's high, high, hey, the army's on its way. Down off in cadence, loud and strong, two, three, for where we go, you will always know army goes rolling Please remain standing for the benediction and departure of the official party. Immediately following the departure, Governor Markell will sign a proclamation designating the month of September as Hire a Vet Month in Delaware. Thank to all of you for your attendance today and continued support of the Delaware National Guard. All attendees are also invited to remain with us and interact with the various historical groups who have joined us today. Uh, as well as uh, visiting next door to the Copeland Maritime Center at the Kalmar Nickel Foundation. Thank you again. And for the benediction, everlasting God, all glory be to you the celebratory day. Continue to pour out your Holy Spirit over us and preserve us as you have over the past centuries, as you do now and in the centuries to come. In your almighty power, keep us from stumbling that we may not fall into wrongdoing, but be victorious in all the complex missions placed before us, protecting the innocent, defending truth and freedom. Rest in us, redeeming God, your abounding joy, peace, love, and hope. Amen. Happy birthday, Delaware National Guard. Other members of the General Assembly, uh, come on up. I'm about to sign a proclamation declaring uh, September as Hire a Veteran Month. I want to thank all the members of the General Assembly who are here, along with um, 
Senator Clark or Senator Coons uh, and others. We've made a lot of progress in Delaware reducing veterans' unemployment. We have additional progress still to make, and that's highly dependent upon uh, our business community giving veterans a chance. So we all join together in recommitting ourselves to do everything we can uh, to put more veterans to work here in Delaware. Thank you. Thank you.